Jesus, I'm glad to be out of there. Mr. and Mrs. Black don't seem to have the happiest home life. He's too scared to divorce her, and she's too much of a shrinking violet to throw him out. If this hadn't happened, they could have stayed miserable together forever. You think she could have killed him? She sure as hell doesn't seem the type. But stranger things have happened. Are you blind? INS officer needs help. 333 South Main Street. 333 South Main Street. Officer needs help. 211 and shots fired. Unit to handle code 3, identify. We got a hold up gun sour. Three guns locked themselves in with two hostages. I tried to go on through the front, but the place is a fortress. I nearly got a mouthful of lead for my trouble. All right. I'll see if I can get it through the back. All right, I'll stay here and keep them busy. Let's go. By the back. Mercy. Throw out the guns! Quick! Up the stairs! Get after him! Weapon down now. You fucking asshole. Car 11K. I've been involved in a shooting at 333 South Main Street, Globe Loan and Jewelry. It's code four now, but the suspect is down. I need an ambulance here. I notify my supervisor and the coroner. 11K, Roger on the ambulance and coroner. Your supervisor will be notified. Units 11K reports code 4 on the shooting at 333 South Main Street. Globe, jewelry, and loan. Straight on.
Hey, I know you. No, you don't. You looking for someone? You want a tip? Refill my coffee fast. You know Frank Morgan? Sure. Frank's a regular. He's a loner in the back. That broad got socks in the brazier. Frank Morgan? Who's that? Cole Phelps, LAPD. I understand you're a friend of Adrian Black. Yeah, I know. Are you aware that he's missing? No, I hadn't heard that. Tough break. We found Black's car abandoned in a freight depot, covered in blood. You know anything about that, Morgan? Hell no. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. I like Adrian. He, he's a good no, boss. Please, don't tell me you actually believe this jerk-off, Phelps. You're lying, Morgan. You were there. And you're talking out your ass, detective. How about you prove I was out at that rail yard? You were there, Morgan. We found a receipt in the trunk of the car. It has your name on it. We can call the slaughter yard and nail you on it. All right, already. That fool Adrian's fallen for some dame in Seattle. He wanted me to make it look like he'd been attacked. Where exactly is Black holed up? No idea. I think he took off for Seattle. Out of your stick, Morgan. Spill it! Or we take you out in the alley and we knock it out of you. He's holed up at my place. He's waiting for some money to come through before he blows town. An address? It's an apartment house at the corner of Temple and Figueroa. Apartment number two. I think that's all. Thanks for your help, Morgan. We appreciate it. Hey, I'm just glad I could help. I love cops. Cuff him, let him go. It's up to you, Phelps. There's no way I'm writing this idiot up. A turkey salad sandwich was great. You got Morgan's address? Let's get over to his apartment. I've met some pretty good liars in my time. People who sound convincing because they actually believe their own bullshit. <laughs> the type is clever, hard to catch out. Frank Morgan is not one of those people. No, he is not. KGPL calling car 11K. 11K, come in. 11K, go ahead. Message from technical services. Blood found in the abandoned Lincoln at the PE freight depot is not human. Repeat, not human. Compositional analysis reveals swine as the most likely match. Roger, KGPL. Kind of real this guy in, Phelps. Any sentry into the 415 possible metal case at 7th and Flower, unit to handle code 3 identified.
Next left. You're the one who's been sending cosmic rays into my room. I'll show you. Yes, sir, you're not going to control my thoughts anymore. Just calm down, sir. You liked that, wouldn't you? Somebody stop it. Give it up, LAPD. He went that away. your hands in the air! Be careful. He looks dangerous. There he is, officer! Don't make me chase you! You don't understand. Someone has to stop the Venusians. Check the place out. Come on. Apartment two. Help you, gentlemen. LAPD detectives, Mr. Black. You're under arrest. Look, I'm really sorry about this. I never tried to hurt anyone. I just needed to get away from L.A. I won't put up a struggle. Just let me get my things. I knew it! Phelps, go after him. I'll try and head him off in the car. Remember, the gun is the last resort. 
There's no point running, Adrian. Mr. Black, get back here right now. Stop right there, Adrian. It's over, Adrian. Why not just come clean with her, Black? Why the melodrama? I thought it would be easier. No, it just got a whole lot harder. Adrian Black, you're under arrest for conspiracy and fraud. We'll see what the DA has to say about wasting police resources on a wild goose chase like this. You're gonna lose your wife, lose your job, and probably end up in the big house. I hope she was worth it, Adrian. That turned out to be quite some case, huh? Adrian, what an idiot. You got an arrest and a clearance in your first case, and in fine style, too. Well done, detective. Efficient investigation technique, good public presence. You keep that up and you learn from Bukowski here, and you could go a long way in this department. Okay, we're gonna keep this short. I'm already late for the DA. First up, Phelps, Bukowski. We got a report of a brand new Packard abandoned in an empty lot off 2nd Street between Olive and Grand. PR is one Oswald Jacobs says the vehicle was dumped in his backyard. There's a patrolman on site. Get down there and see what you can turn up. Any questions? Good, get going. You better go earn our pathetic wages. Rimsky, O'Halloran. Intelligence has information on a stolen car racket. An abandoned vehicle. We catch all the good ones, huh, Phelps? Sounds like there's more to it than that. Nobody dumps a shiny new Packard unless they borrowed it without asking. You don't say. You're on fire today, Einstein. Very funny. <laughs> Come on, my intense protege. Let's go save the world. You hear about Adrian? He brought in Seattle, threw him out. Wife says she's gonna take him back. Women generally show more compassion. What are you talking about? Adrian dumped on her. He was humping the secretary. Margaret should show some pride. Pride comes before a fall, Bukowski. Traffic. I'm Officer Houlihan. Cars down the alleyway, detectives. We got a call about an abandoned vehicle? Yes, sir. The car has flags. Might be some kind of diplomatic vehicle. Has anyone touched this vehicle since you arrived? No. And that Jacobs bird over there was on station before I got here. We'll talk with him in a moment. Give us some time to look the place over. Sure, take your time. He's a sore-headed old son of a bitch, anyway. It's owned by the Argentinian embassy. Must have taken the flag as a souvenir. Can't have it, any street value. It's 
Stealing the wheels is for amateurs. A car ring would have stripped it in a warehouse. Empty. Doesn't look like anything. Combination wrench. Must have used it to remove the wheel lugs. We better see what this Jacobs guy has to say. The car was dumped in his backyard after all. Oswald Jacobs? That's right. What exactly happened here, Mr. Jacobs? Last night, I was looking out of my window. I like to keep an eye on what's going on. I can understand that. You see this empty lot? Damn kids play stickball here. Always breaking my windows. Always asking for their ball back. Can we get back to the car, Mr. Jacobs? Don't be impatient, Sonny. Anyways. Last night, I see this brand spanking new Packard up on bricks. Did you see who stole the Packard? Hell yes, I did. I saw three goddamn Mexicans going to work on it. Can you tell us what they were doing? Using the headlights of an old Ford so they could strip the thing. I yelled out to them, I'll call the cops. So they loaded up their car and drove off, tooting and hollering and yelling obscenities at me in Mexican. You speak Spanish, sir? No, I do not. After the uh, Mexicans left, you didn't go anywhere near the car? After I scared them off? No, I didn't go anywhere near that car. You went out to the car. Once they were gone, you had to take a look for yourself. I was curious. Ain't a law against that. So what if I took a look around that car? You can't be accusing me of nothing. Tell me about the car they were driving. It was an old Ford. I didn't catch the license number. You look like the kind of guy who notices details. You're right there. The car was old, but it looked brand new. Candy apple red paint job stands out a mile. What exactly did you see them take? They was working on the tires. That's all that was took. Right. So what did you take, Jacobs? Do you want my partner to pat you down? I found a notebook in the glove compartment. I was going to show you. It's on the chair on my porch. 
Thank you for your help, Mr. Jacobs. You can speak to Officer Thibault about signing a formal statement. When you get the car out of the way, maybe you could come back and do something about those kids. Well, how about we bring you an umpire's mask? Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? Could you run the name Dewey Brothers? Possibly a dealership or car mechanics workshop. One moment. Dewey Brothers Packard Dealership, 629 Figueroa Street. Got it. Thank you. 